In today's funny story joke, we're scratching our heads harder than a dog trying to understand a magic trick. It's all about the wonderful, mysterious, and sometimes frustrating human brain. We'll be joining Aunt Mildred and Uncle Melvin, a couple whose memories are about as reliable as a used flip phone. Get ready for some serious brain fumbles, but before we witness this comedic cognitive catastrophe, let's delve into the wacky world of aging brains. Buckle up, because things are about to get a little nutty. Our brains, like our favorite pair of jeans, experience some wear and tear as we age. Here's the science behind those memory lapses, delivered with a humorous twist. Imagine your brain as a bustling city. Information travels on highways, nerve fibers, between buildings, brain cells, using little mail carriers, neurotransmitters. These mail carriers deliver messages that make us remember our grocery list, hopefully, solve a crossword puzzle, maybe not, or even remember where we parked the car, unlikely. Now picture this city going through some renovations. With age, the highways, nerve fibers, get a little congested. The fatty insulation around them, myelin sheath, can deteriorate, slowing down message delivery. This is like rush hour traffic permanently messing with your mail service. Fewer mail carriers, neurotransmitters, are on the job. Our brains produce less of these chemical messengers, making it harder for messages to get from point A to point B. Imagine a postal worker shortage leading to a backlog of undelivered mail, memories. Some buildings, brain cells, might have fewer connections. The number of connections between brain cells, synapses, can decrease. This is like having fewer roads connecting different parts of your city, making it harder to get around and find things. Here's the funny part. You might start relying on the scenic route. With slower message delivery, your brain might take longer, more roundabout paths to find information. This explains why it takes forever to remember your neighbor's name, but you can still recall every embarrassing moment from high school with crystal clarity. Thanks, brain. The to-do list gets lost in the mail. You might forget simple things because the message never reaches its destination. This is why writing things down becomes crucial, just like sticking a giant reminder note on your front door. Think of a young brain as a brand new, efficient city. Everything runs smoothly, information travels quickly, and you can remember everything from your dentist appointment to the lyrics of that catchy song you heard once. An older brain is like that same city after years of wear and tear. It still functions, but things might take a little longer and some deliveries might get lost along the way. The good news? Just like you can improve traffic flow in a city by adding new roads or optimizing routes, we can keep our brains sharp with mental exercises, staying socially active and even getting enough sleep. So, embrace the occasional memory lapse, laugh it off, and keep your brain city thriving. All right, folks, enough with the brain dissertations. Time to ditch the textbooks and dive headfirst into the hilarious world of senior forgetfulness. Today's joke stars Aunt Mildred and Uncle Melvin, a couple whose memories are about as sharp as a butter knife used to cut a brick. Buckle up, because we're about to witness a comedic cognitive catastrophe of epic proportions. Get ready to LOL so hard, you might just forget where you put your teeth. Don't worry, Aunt Mildred probably forgot too. An uncle and aunt, both pushing 90, were getting forgetful. They shuffled into the doctor's office, worried their memories were fading faster than their eyesight. The doctor gave them a clean bill of health, except for the usual aches and pains that came with eight decades on the planet. But it's not unusual to be forgetful at your age. Why not write things down you might forget? Later that night, the flickering light from the TV cast dancing shadows on the wall as Mildred knitted furiously. Suddenly, Melvin, her husband, lumbered to his feet with a gasp, like a man possessed. Aha! The craving strikes again! He boomed, his voice echoing in the quiet living room. Fear not, my sweet Mildred, for I, your valiant knight, shall venture forth into the perilous kitchen and vanquish the ice cream dragon. Will you bring me some ice cream with, dear? 
Yes, of course, darling. Maybe you should write it down. You know what the doctor said. What if you forget? No, I will remember. You want some ice cream? But I want chocolate sauce on the ice cream. Maybe you should really write is down. I will remember that my wife. You want chocolate sauce on your ice cream. But I want some of those small nuts on it as well. But you must write it down. You will forget. Yes, of course, darling. The uncle lumbered back into the living room, sweat beating on his forehead, a triumphant grin plastered on his face. He proudly presented Auntie with a plate, holding two perfectly fried eggs and a side of crispy bacon. Behold! He declared, his voice hoarse from exertion. After a harrowing journey through the treacherous fridge and a fierce battle with the stubborn spatula, I present breakfast. Auntie Mildred looked at the plate and said, And this is why I told you to write it down. Where is my toast? <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.